Hi, everybody, and welcome to Fox News Tonight. I am Brian Kilmeade. As you probably have heard, Fox News and Tucker Carlson have agreed to part ways. I wish Tucker the best. I'm great friends with Tucker and always will be. But right now, it's time for Fox News Tonight, so let's get started. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I'm filling in for Tucker Carlson, who will not be coming back. We like the guy, but let's go ahead and do the news. I feel like they could have done that a little bit differently. So there's Brian Kilmeade sitting in on not Tucker Carlson tonight, but Fox News, I believe is what they're calling it, tonight. And um, he was also excited about filling that chair. Maybe he's going to get a primetime position. Let's see what he tweeted. Join me tonight at 8 p.m. He should have dropped a couple more exclamation points. It would have been great. But um, – Maybe he shouldn't have, because check out some of these responses. And you won't find any responses on your own on Twitter because this tweet has since been deleted. Maybe it's because of this. One person uh, responded with this image of Tucker Carlson carrying Fox News's casket. Uh, that's fun. Uh, you know, that that meme everyone's seen of those folks carrying that casket and dancing. Uh, another, uh, another big Tom Callahan user said, no chance as far as joining him canceled cable today. Damn, that's a bit of an extreme response. It's just one channel, bro. Just don't turn. Stevie Stacks also said, I'd rather watch grass grow. Man, this is getting rough. Carpe Donctum says, this is uh, the only replacement for Tucker that I will be happy with and make it last forever. Yeah, Dan, I said Carpe Donctum. <laughs> That's his name. No, that, 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 that's a longtime right wing freak that um, has just kind of been out there on Twitter for a while. That's just a classic right there. Yes, uh, you know, I have to bring it all back. So still, though, there was uh, more going on, though. Uh, Trump, actually, I was wondering yesterday when all the news broke and the day before what his response would be. And he had a tweet, I'm sorry, a truth or two over on his uh, site there. But he did go on Newsmax and he was actually talking about how surprised he was. Watch. Thank you very much. It's good to see you. My honor. So Tucker Carlson was sitting here two weeks ago interviewing you. He's gone. What do you make of that? Well, I'm shocked. I'm surprised. Uh, he's a very good person, a very good man, and very talented, as you know. And he had very high ratings. So uh, we're just learning about it almost as we speak. You and I just said, wow, that was, or was it uh, was somebody fired? But I think Tucker's been uh, terrific. He's been, especially over the last year or so, he's been terrific to me. Well, we are can expect that anybody Donald Trump can deem good to him is OK with everything else in the world. But then again, let's remind everyone how much Tucker Carlson tweeted and I'm sorry, a, a text and left messages about how much he despised Donald Trump and didn't want to talk about his ass anymore. But we're just going to gloss over that part. Um, but th th so as, as he's surprised by this, this is the thing. He brought up ratings and how good he is to him. Maybe it's something else, Dan. Maybe. Everyone in this situation from the folks like super in the front, like Jesse Waters doing that, uh, Tucker Carlson, he exists, and I kind of liked him, and, you know, anyways, uh, <laughs> they're all playing a tightrope because Rupert Murdoch did a real, like, Logan Roy gangster kind of move by going, yeah, I'll definitely fire the um, top moneymaker for my network, A, just for mathematical purposes, and B, because... I am willing to shift this and make this network and its voice into my own. So if you've seen, you have a predicament if you're Jesse Waters and you see, okay, there's power in doing the Tucker Carlson thing, but there's clearly a sun that's too close for me to fly by. I'm definitely going to walk that tightrope very carefully because Tucker Carlson also still has that audience. And even though he, him and Trump are behind the scenes, those are mutual audiences in the Republican base that are very powerful that even the Republican Party machine can't tap into that well anymore. And so whoever has the good graces of these two like major kingmakers in Tucker Carlson and Donald Trump is going to do well with the very, very lucrative, financially speaking, and also power speaking of uh, Republican Party. But that's really what this is. It's like a very tight, careful jockeying for power. And the funny thing is, not so funny, but like, Donald Trump is the weakest one in this. Mm. I, I think it's Tucker Carlson who really like holds the strings because that's a microphone that people are going to listen to. He was still kind of keeping for that Rush Limbaugh sort of barrier that um, that Rush Limbaugh vacuum that was there mm. of leading the Republican Party and kind of giving them marching orders for what they talk about without that. And, Do and barring any contract, Tucker Carlson can still do that. But without that. There's just nothing else there to help fuel what Donald Trump is doing. He can't do it all alone. Just real quick, because I want to shift to the CNN stuff. But uh, um, because I would have asked this yesterday, we talked to Burbank yesterday. What do you think he's going to do next? What is the best move for him? 
so there are a lot of y'all remember current TV and Keith mm -hmm. Oldman stuff. So I'm getting flashbacks of that. There could be a period where he can't go on any network, like an exclusivity thing. So the best thing, the only logical thing to do is go independent, maybe go side with rumble, maybe go with daily wire. He's one of those people who can't just go fully independent. He's going to be able to make a lot of money for whatever company wants to build a brand off of him, like Chris Cuomo and news nation or whatever. Right. Mm -hmm. But ultimate like yeah that's definitely going to be his next move i think after one week of vacation he's going to know this is my talent i'm going to keep monetizing this or make it make more money i don't think he would run for president and i don't think he would do quite well if he did that at least right now i think there's a little bit more groundwork that needs to be done that can be done with a podcast too that's why um that yeah, before he runs run. for president a potential I mean, run for president is wild let's let's jump really fast because let's skip graph uh sot three let's go to four because again uh, we talked about trump mentioned ratings and how good he is to him this is just something i mean these folks can't get out of their brains yo it was even mentioned on on hannity's show on fox news but for a quick second if you blink you might miss it watch but i, I mean you know I, we're not talking about Tucker. I don't really have any details on it, but he had a massive audience yes. and has a huge following. This guy had nobody. 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 And then he got, well, he got demoted. He, he lost his primetime show. He spun it as, this is really good for me to have to wake up before noon and be on a morning show with two women who were more prepared and smarter on the daily. And and he was screamed at Caitlin Collins, who's probably, she's, he's old enough to be her father, she's a very hardworking journalist, whatever you think of CNN, she's very smart, very hardworking. Uh -huh. And and then he got called out by Poppy Harlow. In other words, like these comments don't work, but Chris Licht, I think it's the first time he's really shown some moxie since he's been there, honestly, to have fired Don Lemon. Yeah. Oh man, it's weird. Suddenly, uh, you know, uh, Kellyanne Conway is, is, uh, is promoting uh, Caitlin Collins and Poppy Harlow and even licked for doing the move in the first place. That's how much disdain they had for Don Lemon. But again, for a second, you can hear, we don't know anything about Tucker, nothing about Tucker. There's only a network that he used to work for. They did nothing about Tucker, nothing about Tucker. Uh, but let's talk about something else. Uh, last, really fast, because that other, it was a joyous occasion for a second until Handy brought up Tucker. Look at the other uh, contributor's face. He wasn't very happy. But I, I mean, you know, I, we're not talking about Tucker. I don't really have any details on it, but he had a massive. <laughs> Tight lipped is a uh, is an understatement for this whole thing. Let's take this first break. Dan, Dan, you got last second. You have something to say. I can see you start. Now, so, uh, that, just just from my experience, that's the sound of someone who just heard a producer to say, "Remember the memo we got <laughs> to not say anything about it." <laughs> Not that we've done that at TYT, but I know that's the face <laughs> that you'd like, oh, man. This is some, I really have to avoid what I can and can't say. We'll see.